Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a health bar in Roblox Studio. This is an example of what you're going to learn today. See, I walk over the part, and my health goes down, but it regenerates. So let's get into it. First, what you're going to want to do is add a screen GUI. Then, that screen GUI, you're going to name that health UI. Under that screen GUI, you're going to add a frame, and you're going to call that frame health bar. Then under health bar, under anchor point, you're gonna change it to 0.5 comma 0.5 and change the background color to whatever background you'd like. This is going to be behind the actual health bar. So I'm just gonna make it gray. Then you're gonna change border size pixel to zero. You're gonna change position to 0.5 comma zero comma 0.5 comma zero. And then you're gonna change the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero. This is important because without it, this whole thing won't break. And after you've done that, you can just scale the health bar to whatever size you want. So I'm gonna make mine 600 by 40. And now that I've done that, inside of the health bar, I'm going to add another frame. You're gonna call that frame, ball. Then under ball, you're gonna change the anchor point to 0.5 comma 0.5, change the border size pixel to zero, and change the position to 0.5 comma zero comma 0.5 comma zero and change the size to 1, 0, 1, 0. Once you've done that, if you want to change the color of your health bar, you can go under background color 3 and change it. Now that you've gotten your color, under bar, you're going to add a local script, and you're going to call that local script health script. Now it's time to write the script. It won't take that long, it's only about a few lines. So what you're going to write is weight, parentheses, 0 0.1, and then under that, you're going to write while true do local HP equals game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid dot health slash game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid dot max health. Under that, you're going to write script.parent, colon, tween size, and add another parenthesis, udim2.new, hp, comma, 0, comma, 1, comma, 0, comma, enum, dot, easing direction, dot, out, comma, enum, easing style, dot, quad, comma, 0 0.5. And then under that, you're going to write weight, parenthesis, 0 0.1. And that is pretty much it. I know this can be a little bit overwhelming, so so if it doesn't work for you, I'll leave the script in the description. So now that you've done that, you're going to go back to your health bar. You're going to select ball, and you're going to change the angle point to 1, 0.5. And then change the position to 1, 0, 0.5, 0. And now that you've done that, if you want to round the corners out, inside of the health bar, you're going to add a corner UI. And then inside of the ball as well, you're going to add the same thing corner UI. And now your health bar is a little bit curved, so it doesn't look so square. And you can always change this in the settings to make it bigger or smaller. So now that you've finished your health bar, let's go in the game and test it out. As you can see, I'm in the game, and if I go over the kill part, then my health bar will drop along with it. And that was how to make a health bar in Roblox Studio. This was a very simple tutorial. If you enjoyed, then leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any problems, leave a comment and I'll try to help you. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.